you dudes, I'm Dave Rage, the Average Pen Tester, and welcome to Cross-Site Request Forgery. Today we're going to be going through one of the new labs published by Burp Suite on bypassing same site lax restrictions. But before we can successfully launch a CSRF attack bypassing same site lax, we really need to try to understand what it is so we can go and actually craft a decent payload. We can see here the same site cookie is a browser-based security mechanism that determines when a website's cookies are included in requests originating from other websites. That's really all that you need to know for this lab. And then what does lax mean? As we see here, lax same site restrictions mean that browsers will only send the cookie in cross-site requests, but only if both of the following conditions are met. The request uses the get method, and the request resulted from a top-level navigation by the user, such as clicking on a link. So you may not know this, but same site lax is actually the default for Chrome browsers, so that's what we're going to be using today. So now this is just a little snippet for the lab, bypassing same site lax restrictions using get requests. So we see here that the most basic payload will be something like this, a document dot location, and then the vulnerable website with some of the parameters in the URL. And then we see something a little bit lengthier, which looks a lot more like a CSRF payload. We see the form action here of the vulnerable website, the method post, and then interestingly enough, we see an additional input has been added for underscore method using the get. So in this type of situation, what happens is the post method is forgotten and it gets overwritten by the get method. Well, let's dive into the lab and see how it all works out with a hands-on example. As we can see here, our mission for this lab is to just change the victim's email address with a CSRF payload. All right, so now we have our Burp Suite instance and the lab running side by side here. And what we're gonna try to do is exploit a CSRF vulnerability in the change email function. So first we have to log in. And once we log in, we see that we have an account with a simple email address, nothing crazy going on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this email address and we're just gonna change it. We're gonna change it to rar at normaluser.net. So we're gonna go ahead and update that. And then it changes in our account. And then we can go into the HTTP history, change email, and now we can shift this to repeater so this is the endpoint, the change email endpoint that's vulnerable to CSRF. So what we want to do is we want to try to craft a payload that's going to take advantage of this and then also bypassing that same site lax restriction. If you have Burp Suite Pro, you can go ahead and right click on this repeater and you can craft your CSRF payload and just copy that and, and edit it accordingly. But Burp Suite did provide us with a little bit of a skeleton script. So we're gonna go ahead and look at that and edit it accordingly. So we're gonna to go to the exploit server, go ahead and just paste the skeleton that we have on the Academy notes into the body. And now we have the form and we have all this stuff. Well, what do we actually need? Well, we don't have a recipient. We don't have an amount. We don't have any of this. So this is what we have. We have the form, we have the action, which we're gonna replace this with our website, with our lab URL, and then the method post and get. So what that's actually going to look like when we fully have everything together is this. So we see here the CSRF POC generated by Burp Suite Professional, and this is just the default POC that you're going to get. But we do need to make some edits to it. So we need to add the method override. So we can see in the request that this is a post request for the change email. And then we have this post request, but we're overriding it with a get request. So that's not what we want. We want to override it with a post request so that we can actually change the email of the victim. And then we'll store this and then we can deliver it to the victim. Just be sure that your URL is correct. I've been doing a few copy pastes here and there, and I forgot to update this, so that wasn't working. But if we store this one, and we deliver it to the victim, hey, we solved the lab. So we have successfully bypassed the same site lax restriction. Well, that's the lab for the day. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any additional content you wanna see on the channel, feel free to post something in the comments below. Take care.